There is nothing like a spot of yellow in the garden to really brighten up any area of the garden. From marigolds to roses to, oh, I, there's so dahlias, you name it. There, Oh, there's all kinds of really bright yellows. And again, if we use them just as little spot color, Oh, it just is a difference in day and night when it comes to the color in your garden. Look at these. These are Rebecca, black-eyed Susan. Now, Rebecca is something kind of interesting because it will seed itself. I leave my Rebecca flowers all winter long because the birds love to feed on them, but the seed gets spread. I didn't plant any of this Rebecca. Mother Nature did that for me. And the thing, too, with the Rebecca, it comes up different. I mean, some of the leaves will be, or the petals will be all yellow. Sometimes I have a little mahogany in them. Outstanding plant. But the one that I really like is called Rebecca triloba. This is brown-eyed Susan. It will grow in part shade. Look at this. Spot planted all through the shade garden. It just highlights. It is absolutely gorgeous in this garden. And the thing with this particular plant, though, it is a biennial. In other words, the first year it comes up as a little plant. The second year it blooms and then it dies off again. So that's Rebecca trilobal, which is brown-eyed Susan. Now another yellow that I just absolutely love is this particular fellow. This one is what we call an evening primrose. And I'm telling you, it is so spectacular. Right around dusk, this flower opens like a slow motion Disney film. Each petal slowly unfurls right before your eyes. It stays open all night and then it closes in the morning. And then a new one will form, this one right here. And you can see it gets a little leggy. Well, if it gets too leggy for you, just come along and clip it in half and it'll get side branches and it blooms all summer long, all the way until frost. It is beautiful. Evening primrose, by the way, this too, will seed itself so you'll have lots of little plants of this particular one. Just spots of yellow in the garden. You can't beat it. I'm Phyllis Stevens. That's our great garden tip.